camera is not aimed properly. What happened here? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. That's a little bit. That's not. Oh, I made it too much. Come on. All right. Anyway, hello, everyone. <laughs> hello. It's still. <sighs> hello, everyone, and welcome to the Week in Preview. This is ridiculous. You know what it is? Well, it's because. And this week coming up is now stacking up to be not, no lie, I mean, I'm being real here, the most varied week I've ever done, tackling the most amount of games in one week that I've ever tackled, and it may be the most ver biggest variety week in history that, of me ever doing anything for YouTube. And I think that it's going to have a little bit of something for everyone. Some people are going to be very happy. Some people will be like, okay. But I don't think there's really anyone that's going to be like, man, there's nothing this week that I wanted to see because of the crazy-ass variety that's going to be coming out this week, okay? Which was released in Japan this past week, had a leak-slash-loophole, the return of WWE Sims for WrestleMania. Yes, this week it's going to have insane amounts of variety. Tonight, right now. I'm filming the weekend preview, and I want to say thanks to those of you who weren't planning on me playing Dark Souls 3, but you've been coming out to watch the videos on stream and on YouTube. I'll tell you, I already know there's a huge chunk of people who are staying away from my Dark Souls 3 playthrough because they don't want to be spoiled on the game until they play it in mid-April. For a game that, you know, I played three sessions of, it's only been out for around three days that I've been playing it. The views are great. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. I'm not complaining, it's doing really well. So thanks to everyone who is checking it out, and for those of you who are not watching it yet because you don't want to spoil, holy shit, once you get to it, you're going to love this playthrough, okay? It's every bit as good as Bloodborne and the, the ones from the past from From Software. It's a really good playthrough. And boy, do I have a lot to say. Please, don't let that vlog be overshadowed. It's going to be a great vlog. I think people are really going to enjoy it. So check that out tonight here on the King of Hate Vlogs. So that's going to be Monday's gameplay stream all about Street Fighter V. But... There's no guarantee that the DLC is actually going to be released in time for my stream. As you know, my stream starts at noon Pacific time. It's all on Capcom and it's all on Sony to have that did that patch, you know, go out and update the game. If it happens overnight, great, two thumbs up. If it doesn't happen until the morning, we're going to be on the fence. So that's youtube.com forward slash kogaming1, okay? I've been putting up stuff over there pretty consistently, and I hope that you'll continue to check it out because unfortunately some people aren't. Uh, I have over 5,000 subscribers, but the videos over there aren't even getting 5,000 views, and I just got to kind of shrug and say, I'm putting up the content that I promised. Last week, I had a follow-up, a, a, a one-month follow-up of Street Fighter V, my overall thoughts about the game. I had a, a montage video of UFC 2, of the best knockouts, so it's like, I'm doing, you know, what I promised. You know, I hope you'll check out the videos. This is going to be a big one. I think a lot of people want to hear my overall thoughts on Dark Souls 3 now that I've played it several times. So that'll be going live on KO Gaming tomorrow night. Uh, Walking Dead Michonne is just starting up. And then trying to play with him online, which is probably going to... I'm going to get destroyed because, you know, everyone playing online is going to be playing with the characters they've been playing with since the launch day. Oh, it's my main. I can't play anyone but my main. And I'm probably going to get destroyed. But at least we'll get to see gameplay all day of Alex, the first DLC character. That'll be cool. I want to return... To Persona 3 because now I've done two major streams of it. I really like the game. It's very similar to Persona 4. I can see there's a few things that, you know, are kind of a little bit of a step back, like not being able to control your party members. But for the most part, I'm really enjoying the game. The playthrough so far is, I think, just as good as Persona 4's, and I'm looking forward to more. I definitely need to at least play two more streams of this game before I get so caught up with new releases that I don't have time for it, all right? As you know, in the past, sometimes I do April Fool's. Last year, I did not because I was so inundated with new games. And sadly, this year is more of the same. I'm too busy. There's too much going on. There's so many games to be covered and so much to do. I don't have an entire day to take away from my schedule. We're going to be doing a day-long marathon of the conclusion of Conker's Bad Fur Day HD. If you don't know, I played this game in late December as a marathon reward. I played for around six and a half hours on Friday where I'm playing it kind of all day long. And it's going to be around seven hours long. I'm hoping that within the, the gameplay, you know, hopefully there's only like five, six hours left in the game and I could definitely beat it on that stream, okay? We'll see what happens, but, you know, it's going to be a fun event this Friday, all right? Saturday, I'm going to decide what I'm doing depending on how the week went. Am I craving more Street Fighter? Am I craving more Persona? At this point, if I haven't played Dark Souls 3 since, like, Tuesday, I'll probably be really craving more Dark Souls 3. So whatever it is, however the week has gone, that's going to determine what I actually play on Saturday for my gameplay stream, okay? And then Sunday, April 3rd. This is a bombshell. I haven't talked about this in months. I'm actually going to be doing WWE 2K16 Sims. 
a session of Sims in honor of WrestleMania, which takes place on that day. Sunday, April 3rd, WrestleMania happens. Just think of all the shit that I just mentioned. I'm just going to review, all right? Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice Vlog. Street Fighter V DLC Trials Mode and Tutorial. First Impressions video about Dark Souls 3. More Dark Souls 3 gameplay that's going to happen. The Walking Dead Michonne Episode 2. Alex, the first DLC character for Street Fighter V, plus the new outfits that are going to unlock. Minecraft Story Mode Episode 5, the final episode. More Persona 3. A Conker's Bad Fur Day HD Marathon that will hopefully finish the game. And WWE 2K16 WrestleMania Fantasy Sams. And there's still the possibility, like I said, maybe one night I'll do a special vlog or I'll do something else. I mean, this week is insane. Insanity. What kind of variety? Every day there's something completely different. You want fighting games? You want action-adventure games? You want RPGs? You want platformers? Whatever the hell you want, you're going to get it. I mean, it's crazy. What a week. And the hilarious thing about all of this is that looking at my calendar, none of this was on the calendar because we didn't know if the DLC was coming out. Dark Souls 3, we had no idea we could play. We didn't know the episodic games were coming out. It's like, my calendar for, for April was empty, and now it's insanely full. <laughs> insanely full. It's crazy. April 5th, Quantum Break. New game. I'm really anticipating it. I've been following this one for years. It looks great. I'm really looking forward to it. I, I really hope that you're looking forward to it, too. This seems to be, again, the kind of game that really caters, like, like it's almost like an Until Dawn, you know what I mean? The kind of game that's going to cater to my style of gameplay, my style of commentary, and I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope that you are, too. That's a big... And I'm on the fence about Homefront. I don't know if I'm even going to bother with Homefront at this point, because I heard, number one, it's nothing like the first game. I heard they've kind of made it a completely different game. And quite honestly, number two, out of all the stuff going on right now, right, Quantum Break... Dark Souls 3, I might want to do some more Pokemon Tournament, which, by the way, I'm not playing it all this week because there's just no time, right? Do I really want to take on another game that I might be not really memorable, you know? You better take a sip. You fucking sleazy so, asshole. We'll see. Right now I'm on the fence, but I may or may not actually play Homefront because I may be so busy with these other games and too excited to keep going with these other games, all right? But the problem is I, I know this happens every month. At the end of the month, people who gave big pledges last month say, oh crap, I'm not going to do that two months in a row, and they lower their pledge. So that's what's going to happen. You're going to see the last two days of the month, the pledges are going to go boo. So we need people to pledge it out to go boo and reinflate it so that we can get it and hit the goal and have a great Blizzard Marathon at the end of April, okay? So don't forget, please check it out, patreon.com. There it is, patreon.com forward slash dark side fill right there. Check it out, and please consider pledging, all right? What a crazy, like, my head is so scatterbrained right now because of all the shit that I'm going to be doing this week. Let me tell you something, because I talked about this on pre-stream the other day. This week in particular, this past week, the best week so far this year, when it came to viewers, engagement, everyone was watching my stuff, whether it was Pokin, whether it was Dark Souls 3, whether it was the premiere of Persona 3, everyone was engaged and active and having fun. And that's what I like to see. When views are good, views, 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 I don't want to be Mr. Views. When everyone's coming in every day saying that we're having fun, it's not about drama, it's about having fun and sharing your experience with these games, that energizes me, right? And I want to keep that momentum this next week. I want to go into April with tons of momentum with all the games I'm covering and all the fun stuff that's coming out. I hope you're going to join me for all of it this week because this momentum is great. If we can make it so every month I'm doing a little better, a little better, by the end of this year... I could be doing great and be here permanently because, as you know, this is a make or break year for me. So we're going to see what happens. But right now I'm feeling great. This past week, if anything is an indication, it was a great week. And we can keep this up. It's going to be great. So please keep checking out all the stuff daily. Thank you for watching.